Okay. Put your feet in. Ma'am, put your feet in so we can close the doors. Okay. We're gonna close the door. Mm -hmm. Stay right there before we move. Hey, 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 calm down. hey calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Back up. Back up. Back up. Hold on. Hey, get your foot back in there. Get your foot back in there. Get your foot back in there. Ma'am. Ma'am, we're going to have to tase you. You're not going to like that. I don't understand what you're telling me. Welcome back, everybody. It's the Simple Sun. Um, as you can tell, our border crisis is probably getting worse and worse by the day. The numbers are going up. Um, nobody's doing anything but Texas. Uh, we have a few states that are sending National Guard and supplies and and backing people theoretically. Uh, but nobody's really doing anything. And, and really, I mean, it, the southern border is just an open door at this point for everybody and their brother to basically come along. And uh, we even have an issue with, you know, people from, again, not our hemisphere coming in. Um, one of the people that's actually raising the alarm is uh, Brandon Judd, who's the National Border Patrol president. Um, let's hear what he has to say. And um, see what kind of in, in danger we're all kind of in. Illegal border crossings hitting another all time high, surpassing 300,000 in December alone. Now, former FBI officials are sounding the alarm on a new national security threat, as 50 on the terror watch list were already caught this fiscal year. United States is facing a new and imminent danger. Adding in its modern history, the U.S. has never suffered an invasion of the homeland, and yet one is unfolding now. Yeah, it's not an if, it's a win. We know something bad is going to happen, and you have to look at the reason why. Everybody wants to characterize this as a race issue. They want to say, well, this is just poor brown people coming from Mexico or Central America, and that's just not true. We apprehend people from Eastern um, Europe all the time. We apprehend people that are whiter. That's how they used to, uh, to justify it all, because it's, it, you're just a racist if you don't. You know, if, if you if you just don't accept 100 percent of the people that are coming through the southern border, regardless of what race they are, you're a racist than I am all the time. We apprehend people from from the Middle East. We apprehend people from around the, the world. This is not a race issue. It's all about the protection of the American people. And until we wake up and realize that we're going to continue to deal with this and and what's going to happen is going to be bigger than what it needs to be. We've got to get this under control um, today and we can do it if this administration would simply give us the policies that are necessary. And that was Brandon Judge from the National Border Patrol president. Um, see, that's w what we're kind of facing on a daily basis, right? I mean, more and more, you know, we need more and more higher ups coming out and um, uh, pointing things out about what's actually going on. We find ourselves in like a deficit, right? A deficit of the soul, basically. Um, there used to be some kind of border with with just us politically where it was like okay well we don't want to cross that line we can't cross that line at the very end at the very least we're americans right we we, we should have a basis on what we agree on but we don't we find ourselves you know splintered more than ever before and we again we used to agree on certain things um and i kind of have proof of it uh, the, just to show you what i mean chuck schumer Honestly, not so long ago. Entered the U.S. legally. Illegal immigration is wrong, plain and simple. Until the American people are convinced that we will stop future flows of illegal immigration, we will make no progress on dealing with the millions of illegal immigrants who are here now. When we use phrases like undocumented workers, we convey a message to the American people that their government is not serious about combating illegal immigration, which the American people overwhelmingly oppose. If you don't think it's illegal, you're not going to say it. I think it is illegal and wrong. So now you heard that, right? 
uh, that was Chuck Schumer's position on illegal immigration back then, basically saying in 2009, uh, none of us can, uh, we should not be willing to accept illegal immigration of any kind at any time, right? Because it's just plain out, flat, wrong. Um, and now we have a uh, new congressman, Representative Robert Garcia, today making fun of uh, Donald Trump. He, I'm going to assume he was probably joking around about a lot of this stuff, but at least trying to literally come up with an idea of how to stop illegal immigration. So let's take a video of uh, what they're spending their time on in Congress. Remember, we pay their salaries. I, I, I will not yield. I want to remind the public that Donald Trump and House Republicans also have their own ideas for the border. So let's review the majority's border ideas that they've actually presented. Here they are. Donald Trump actually has said that he wants to build alligator moats along the border. That's one of his incredible ideas. It would probably make you stop and think, maybe I shouldn't cross this border illegally. Another idea that Donald Trump has promoted is he actually wants to electrify the border fence and maybe even put some spikes on the border. That's another Donald Trump and MAGA majority border right. Again, it seems inhumane, but it would deter, uh, you know, illegal immigration, right? Yeah. Another idea, which I'm not sure how, how well it would go, is he wants to actually bomb northern Mexico with missiles. That's another Trump idea. And finally, I think one of the ones that I think um, is the most grotesque is suggestions that instead we should maybe just shoot migrants in the legs as they cross the border. So once again, the Donald Trump and MAGA plan is alligator moats, bombing northern Mexico, shooting migrants in the legs, and electrifying the fence and putting spikes on them. That is the Donald Trump border plan. Well, the truth is, folks, if if this was an actual invasion, shooting people at the border don't sound like a bad idea, right? Like, so, uh, we kind of face this this distinction between right and wrong, right? So, y your, your position is, these ideas are wrong. Well, but at the same time, you're saying that breaking the law in, it, by illegally invading us is a right action right so i mean at some point it you know it really just comes down to an opinion correct so again we're faced of you know damned if we do damned if we don't right so there's there's zero things that we could ever say to either change people's minds because the truth is it probably is all about votes it probably is all about money and um uh, there's going to come a breaking point to you know where this ends and um i guess we're going to see where this goes um uh, but in the meantime um patriots need to keep talking about this uh bringing up the idea that we're going to be outnumbered and i, I and it has nothing to do with white and black it has everything to do with american and non-american so um i'm going to continue to talk about this and um hopefully you guys listen and if you enjoy Hit the like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.